On Wednesday afternoon, a U.S. sailor fatally shot two civilian employees at the Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard before turning the gun on himself, base officials said. A third employee was shot and killed, but as of now is in stable condition. Rear Admiral Robert Chadwick told reporters that the suspect opened fire near Shipyard Dry Dock 2, one of the facilities for rearming and repairing nuclear submarines. As of now, authorities have refused to release the names of the suspect or victims, but the shooting is under ongoing investigation as of Thursday morning, with authorities reportedly interviewing at least 100 witnesses. As many as 14,000 additional U.S. troops and dozens of ships could soon be deployed to the Middle East in order to counter Iran, U.S. officials told the Wall Street Journal. President Trump has long stood by his claim to keep the U.S. out of foreign conflicts, but after listening to both Israel and his military advisors, he reportedly now believes Tehran poses a major threat. Trump may officially announce this action as soon as this month, though it's possible he will approve a smaller deployment than the planned 14,000. Over the past two weeks, Iran has experienced some of the deadliest political unrest in nearly 40 years, with a simple protest over gasoline prices escalating into a massive demonstration advocating for the downfall of the Islamic Republic and its leaders. Iranian security forces have responded with violence, opening fire on mass demonstrators. In the southwest, witnesses reported the members of the Revolutionary Guard shot and killed 40 to 100 unarmed protesters. As of this week, protesters are beginning to respond to the violence in turn. Banks and gas stations have been burned down, and protesters are beginning to target government buildings with improvised weapons. The Revolutionary Guard is reportedly preparing for war. <laughs>